First here at 9 o'clock, we want to take you live to Atlanta, Georgia, where protests continue over the death of George Floyd. Tonight, demonstrators have gathered outside CNN Center in downtown Atlanta. Several police cars have had their windows smashed out and even one set on fire. It's all connected with the incident caught on camera in Minneapolis, Minnesota on Monday. Video showing a police officer pressing his knee on Floyd's neck before he died. The 46-year-old cried out that he couldn't breathe. Today, we've learned that this man, Officer Derek Calvin, has been arrested and charged with third-degree murder. The situation sparked a protest in San Marcos earlier today. A crowd of hundreds gathered at the Hayes County Courthouse to rally for justice. In Austin, it's been more than a month since 42-year-old Mike Ramos was shot and killed by officers. No one's been charged in his death. A criminal investigation now underway. KXAN political reporter John Engel is breaking down how use of force is investigated in Travis County and why Austin's police chief says the investigation is moving at the right speed. We're all getting that question of why doesn't it happen that way here? Mike Ramos was shot and killed by Austin police on April 24th after officers said he didn't comply with orders and attempted to leave the scene off Pleasant Valley Road. Timeliness is always important but you also have to make sure that you follow your established policies and protocols because at the end of the day, you have to follow due process so that where that takes you, you got there in the appropriate manner. Just there minutes before I interviewed Chief Manley in this room, his staff was preparing a video that will soon be released to the public showing what led to that shooting. So far, we've only seen this video of moments before Ramos was killed. In Travis County, District Attorney Margaret Moore says she goes to every scene where lethal force is used by officers. That's to observe evidence as it's being collected, like she did back on April 24th. Her office decides if there's enough proof to send a case to a special grand jury used just for these kinds of investigations. I go back to the transparency issue. It if it goes to a grand jury, then what we can tell the public becomes much more limited. And I don't think that's in the best interest of the community. Chaz Moore with the Austin Justice Coalition is among those in the community questioning why, after a month, there aren't more answers in the death of Mike Ramos. Those cops should be fired and, and, and we need justice here in Austin the same way they got justice in Minneapolis, um, at least so far with, with, the, with the officers being charged. John Engel, KXAN News. A protest planned tomorrow in Mike Ramos' honor at noon outside of Austin Police Headquarters. The Austin Justice Coalition is hosting a walk with Ramos' mother on Sunday at 1 in the afternoon. That begins at the state capitol.